Thank you for being here, Hannah. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start like this. <laughs> um, you do a lot of large pieces, right? I do, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's amazing because usually when we talk about handbook, uh, it's usually like, or at least 90% of the stuff is small things but you really usually do a lot of large <laughs> pieces. <laughs> um, that's something like, that you, you like to do or it's like a challenge for you? Um, yeah, I, I definitely prefer larger pieces. I feel like I get into a better flow when I, when I do a larger piece. I get into a rhythm. Um, I actually find I do... I don't mind small pieces, but like I said, I prefer larger. I think I find um, smaller pieces quite tricky sometimes, actually, which is usually the opposite with hand poking. Yeah, yeah, uh, I understand it. But usually, when when we're talking like, uh, yeah, I don't know, like something around like thirty centimeters or something like that, uh, you you take like a whole day. Or do you, do you divide it in multiple sessions? Or? Uh, yeah, well, it depends on the clients as well. Um, I do tend to do a lot of full-day sessions or I might do a half-day session with somebody. It also depends how long somebody wants to sit there for as well. Yeah. Like, for example, when we are talking about large pieces, usually, I don't know, uh, you pick a needle and... Um, you usually stick with it for the whole se for the whole whole session, or you change it. Uh, most of the time, I do stick with the same needle. Sometimes I do change. Um, it depends, you know, if I'm using the same size needle all at the time, I probably would change it through the session. Okay. So yeah. You feel like the, that's not sharp uh, enough for the um, the whole session, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, okay. Yeah, I've, de I've definitely got my favorite needles that I use probably a lot of the time as well. So, okay. By the way, which 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 are which are the, your favorite needles? Um, I like uh, double double zeros. Okay. Like round liners, yeah, they're definitely my favorites. Okay. You um, so you, you you usually stick with one brand or? Oh, sorry, that's my dog. No problem. <laughs> Yeah, at the moment, I mean, I have been trying some different brands um, like CNC, um, but I do tend to use killer, killer ink needles. Okay. Um, I was talking about, uh, what about inks? Uh, inks. About, yeah. Yeah. Um, about yeah, I tend to use a Kurosumi um, a lot okay. of the time. And if I want to get some darker inks, I've been also using a Radiant um, Tribal ink. Usually when you do the, the design of your pieces, what kind of software or, or do you use it by, do you, do you draw them by hand or use it Pro Procreate or Photoshop? Yeah, I mean, I used to draw a lot more by hand, but I do use, tend to use Procreate a lot more now. I think, you know, it's a, it's a good tool to have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I agree. laughs> definitely. <laughs> it's easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, um, it does save a lot of time, especially if you are busy. Of course. But by the way, um, and you you use Procreate, but when we are dealing with large pieces, it's kind of tricky, right? You have to assemble them like in another software, right? So to to print them. Print them. Uh, no, I tend to, I tend to print everything from Procreate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, have you have you ever used machine or did you start uh, right on the hand poke? Um, no, I've never used a machine on a person. I did start practicing with the machines, but I didn't really gel with the machine that well. Um, I did. I used to do a lot of ink catchings, you know, with um, you know, so a pot of ink and like sharpened stick. And um, yeah, a tattoo artist saw me doing it and said to me, "Why don't you try hand poking? That's exactly what you're doing." So I did, and I just became hooked after that. <laughs> so <laughs> nice. What, um, how many years do you do it? Um, I'd say 
I think I started around 2015. So yeah, around seven oh. years now. A lot of time already. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Have you ever gone to a tattoo convention uh, as an artist, obviously, uh, yeah. to, to do? To, uh, to do yes. Info? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I have done, I've done quite a few conventions, um, yeah, actually. But it's, it's been a couple of years because of uh, a pandemic. So hopefully I think um, I should be doing one. I've got one planned for next year, but I'm hoping to get um, get the ball rolling again and start doing some more. I, I'm, I was wondering if there are a lot of tattoo conventions with the handbook as a category in the UK. Yeah, no, they, I mean... Um, no, I mean, when I've done conventions, there only tends to be, say, me and maybe one or two other people that um i've not really tattooed at many that i've had quite a lot of hand poke artists apart from one that i did in mallorca once okay yeah yeah well uh, i was wondering because there are a lot of tattoo conventions obviously around the world but there for at least for my knowledge that's not a lot a lot of them that have the hand book uh, as a category and it's kind of a shame honestly it because is, yeah, yeah there, there's a lot of tattooers who only do hand book and yeah i guess it, 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 it it's a flaw <laughs> definitely yeah and i think there are um I was quite amazed. I think when I first started, I didn't really know of many other hand poke artists. But then once I got to know people more, um, I realised there are actually quite a lot. So, yeah, it would be nice if um, there were more uh, at a convention. Yeah, I understand. At least from the point of from the um, I don't know the speed point of view of the artwork, because obviously it's slower than with machine. But, well, usually a uh, tattoo convention is around like, what, two, three days. Like yeah. in three days, you can do at least like three decent sized pieces oh, yeah. easily. I think, yeah, I'd be quite surprised. I mean, I know of a few Pampo artists who are, who are quite fast, really. And I think, yeah, people are generally surprised at how quick, um, say, myself can do a big piece as well what kind of tattoo that really that you really what you you get really pumped to to do um obviously i, I do like doing a lot of uh, large dot work pieces but at the moment i've been um yeah quite excited about doing um some solid uh colored pieces i'm not sure if you've seen them Mm -hmm. um yeah I've, the bit i guess some people have described them as maybe a little bit ab aboriginal style i guess but yeah i think yeah i've been really excited about doing color just recently do you do color works um for a long time now or it's some something more recent um i've sort of dabbled with it um probably after a couple of first couple of years of tattooing um and i've not done a, i've done a bit but not a huge amount but just recently i've done a bit more and um, i've got a lot more planned as well so yeah <laughs> yeah because usually handbook artists usually tend to 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 stay more with the black uh, with the black inks and yes this was this regard the the, the color <laughs> part <laughs> and then um, yeah that, that, that's interesting because i guess it would be fun to see more handbook artworks in color it would be i guess it would be really interesting oh yeah definitely i know there's definitely not a lot of people that do it i have seen a few and i think it, you know it's quite interesting um using color definitely yeah. <laughs> And, uh, about your your beginnings when you start to when you start tattooing, did you do it on your own or did you go to do some studio or did you get any I don't know apprenticeship? Um, uh, unfortunately, I mean it would have been really nice to have an apprenticeship, but I am self-taught. Um, 
but yeah i did i went started off at the studio doing one one day a week um you know practicing on friends and just built it up from there but um I learned a lot from talking to other artists. Uh, I've learned a lot from machine artists as well about inks and needles as well. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess I guess that that's like uh, like that's that's like most of the handbook artists. Oh, and definitely. And like, I think, uh, self I think, Yeah, I think yeah, you're quite lucky if you can get an apprenticeship. Yeah. Did you felt like the COVID, like with this time in quarantine, there were like um, a boom on uh, handbook artists? Oh, yes, definitely. Handbook. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, well, a lot of people refer, you know, to it as stick and poke and, you know, little small tattoos. Yeah, there seemed to be a lot more. <laughs> do you usually do guests? Oh, well, other, guests other lots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have done um, in the past and um, hopefully um, I've been talking about doing some this year. So, yeah, nice. I do like, like to travel if I can. What, what about like um, just like finishing this? Uh, what about for the future? Do What do you feel like? Do you have any, I don't know, like any goal? Um, official? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I really do want to travel more, do more guest spots. It's, you know, I think you do you do learn a lot as well from being in um, different studios as well and learning from other artists. I mean, I don't, obviously, I don't think you ever stop learning. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Anna, that's it, I guess. <laughs> This that's is it. Great. <laughs> I would like to thank you. Thank you yeah, very thank much you for much. this couple of minutes and <laughs> keep doing, keep the good work, the amazing work. I really love your stuff. So thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>